I'm Holly from Mr. Go's ChemCom class. I will show you ester formation. An ester is formed when an alcohol group is combined with carboxylic acid. You can tell something is an alcohol if it has an OH at the end of the carbon chain or because the name ends in OL. Something is a carboxylic acid because you will see an OH and double bonded O or because the name ends with IC acid. When forming an ester, you'll be combining the alcohol and the carboxylic acid. To do this, you will need to get rid of both of the OHs at the end of the chains and use a single O like this, which will be the connector of the two hydrocarbons. If that was a little confusing, here's an example. We are going to combine ethanol with acetic acid. Notice that ethanol has an OH and acetic acid has an OH and double bonded O. Now to combine them, we will take out this and this OH and use a single O to connect the two hydrocarbons. That's it, there's your ester. Now you see the H2O at the end? That came from this OH and that OH when we took them out. Now I'll go back and show you the ester's name. When you have combined the alcohol and the carboxylic acid, they will get new endings. It will end with YL and ATE, so the new name of the ester is ethyl acetate.